If you've taken care of backing up that next cloud instance on a regular basis, you should have a most recent backup on the off chance something were to befall your server. Should that be the case, you then need to know how to restore said backup. I'm going to do just that. Walk you through the process of restoring your backup for NextCloud. The first thing you must do is migrate the backup files to the new instance of NextCloud. This can be done in any way you like. One possibility is by using the secure copy command like so. SCP nextcloudbackup.tgz user at server IP colon slash home slash user, where user is the username on the remote server and server IP is the IP address of the new NextCloud instance. You will need to do that with both a file and database backup. The next step is to restore the file's backup to the new directory. I will assume your backup file is in .tgz format. Before you move the file, unpack it with the command sudo tar xvzf nextcloudbackup.tgz. Now we can use rsync to move it like so. sudo rsync dash capital A small a small x nextcloudbackup slash var slash www slash html slash nextcloud. I'm going to assume the name of your database is nextcloud. Before you can restore the backup, you have to drop the original, which is done with the command sudo mysql dash h localhost dash u user dash p dash e double quote drop database next cloud double quote where user is the username with admin rights. Now that the original database has been dropped, you'll need to create a new database with the command sudo mysql dash h localhost dash u root dash p dash e double quote create database next cloud double quote. Next, restore the backup to the newly created database with the command sudo mysql dash h localhost dash u user dash p next cloud less than next cloud db dot back where user is the username with admin rights. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.